Yes, it's the haunting Togo theme. Yeah, so forgive the heavy breathing. Uh, this is Lacuna Passage. Oh, <laughs> it's gone saucy. Right, so we're trapped in an escape pod. Um, but not for long, because we are now on Mars. Ooh. Sparse and or beautiful. Huh. So yes, this is the very start of the sandbox, um, which is acting as a preview for the upcoming story mode. So we are admittedly deep into a bit of tutorial action here, but nothing too um, dangerous. Oh, press Q. Oh, okay. So this is my scanner, and I've got to find the purple circle, which is my habitat. So this is a little bit Subnautica-ish and all that, um, it, um, even to the extent you've actually got one of these things, and you can actually walk around while looking at it. Um, you navigate this... Um, slightly awkwardly, you, um, you actually out navigate this with the arrow keys, not the mouse, because it's, it actually allows you to walk around and navigate it simultaneously. There's my inventory, and there's my vitals, uh, and all the usual stuff. Um, hmm, right. But yes, as I, um, as I was saying that, I was actually going slightly uphill very slowly. Ooh! Right, so my oxygen is at 90%, my battery is at 95%. And basically that's all I know about the game so far. So from here on in, it's going to be about me versus the game for the very first time. I am going to go up here. Oh, hello! Oh, there we go, that's more like it. I thought I'd mis misinterpreted the scanner. Right, so I know almost nothing about this game, so this is going to be quite intriguing to see what's going on. I do know I have to survive, because this is Mars. Um, I have to go and find new habitats to help me survive in this mission. What's that? Oh, it's literally just a rock. Funny that, a rock on Mars. But yes, there are like some cute little things I've seen so far whilst flapping through the inventories and all that. There's like a photo mode, which you can then attach to your map so you know where you've been and um, through like visual representation and stuff like that, which I think is rather clever. I wonder how I do that then. Right, it's X. <laughs> I found the photo button. So, in fact, there, there's the actual um, next habitat. So let's take a photograph. Right, that was very quietly done, but apparently it has worked. So let's do the shortcut to the photographs. And there we have it. There's exactly the same scene as we actually have it right in front of us, so long as I don't fall off a cliff whilst I'm doing this. Um, somehow, should be able to add this to a map. Is that it? Location where photo was taken is not recorded. Ah, well, fine. Um, let's just pretend that never happened then. Um, that can go away. And off we go into this valley. Um, this is the point of the game where I wonder if there's fall damage. Um, in fact, let's actually go down here. So let's do a bit of scanning. Yes, the purple circle is very much pointing us towards that. So let's tootle off. Let's have a look at the sky, see if there's anything happening there. Apparently there are dust storms, um, Conan Exile style, but they're not in the current build that I'm playing, uh, which is I think is a preview build. Uh, but we'll see. There's actually quite a lot of stuff down there. Ooh. This looks like I'm going to be surviving here for days. There are solar panels, a plenty, equipment, habitat discovered and added to, added to navigation. Let's map up. Oh, well that's a, <laughs> that's a very, um, uh, that's a map alright. Oh, hang on, that's no good. Presumably locks, lock map centred on location, is that, that going to be useful? Probably not. Hang on, let's... Yes, yeah, so you have to navigate all this with keys, so it's a little clumsy. But, I mean, it is just so you can actually separate out the mouse and this and all sorts of stuff. All very peculiar. This map is not helpful. This is not a helpful map. God damn it. Okay, put that away. Let's investigate what's going on. Check the status of Habitat Life Support Systems via one of the consoles in the hairlock. That looks, like, that looks like a Coke machine. Oh, another Coke machine! Blimey, there's competition. Right. Let's go up. Oh, there's, yeah, there's a green one, and there's a black one over there. Ooh. All right. That looks like a lever. Release. Ooh. In we go. Let's have a bit of a... Oh, there's a bench. Waiting for a train that'll never come, no doubt. What are you? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Happy that stasis. Power is offline. There's a bit of reserve power. Depressurized. Interior temperature cold as dicks. And water is some in there, but not collecting water. 
probably because there's no water on Mars, apart from where there's water on Mars, because we've discovered there's water on Mars. Um, oxygen, plenty. We oxygenate offline. We need an oxygen unit. Let's go and trade with some gelfs. Um, can we do anything else here? I presume not. Okay. So, let's have a bit of a poke around. Let's have a look in the lockers. Maybe they're not poke aroundable. Actually, well, they look somewhat empty, so perhaps not. Oh, a fire extinguisher. Again, shout out to Subnautica. Oh, hello. And we are in a space. Ooh. Oh, good lord. This is actually quite the, um... Ah! Look at this. Oh, I can craft here. It was a workbench. Um, but I can't craft items because there's no bloody power. Well, surely there must be an on switch around here somewhere. Where is an on switch? That looks like a that's no, that's a door, isn't it? Are you an on switch? No, you're not. Anything around here? Oh, hello. What's this? That's equipment. Consumables. Right. Okay. So now I've got to navigate this. I've got to. With I think you have to do the the whole deposit and withdraw thing. So switch to withdraw. That's what I want. So I can withdraw that presumably. Withdraw. Withdraw. This is a quite a slow process. By the seems of it. 19 waters! Oh, having them. Uh, I, oh, God. Hang on. Yeah, all of them. Oh, no. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, fine. And some rice as well. Conform. Or confirm. And I now have actually loads of stuff. Which is probably a good thing, considering I need to explore Mars and all that. My God, there's stuff in here. Can I get some kip? Apparently, no. No kip for me. Sleeping bunk! Cannot sl Oh, God. I have to- it, the game wants me to strip. <laughs> it's- it's- it's getting seedy. Oh, anyway, salvage items. No power. Ah! This is actually a really useful place to be, obviously. Okay, I'm gonna leave the interior- oh, God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the interior behind for a second, and now I'm gonna go outside and investigate- Oh, look, they're, they're circled! God damn it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's obviously how you actually get these things back online, which is now telling me rather abruptly towards the top. All right, let's have a go with you. 75% power. Run met diagnostics to see stasis of all component slots for this module. Uh, okay, so by the looks of it, we are missing stuff. Download manual. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Um, right. The, the heater exterior module provides temperature regulation. The circuit board is not necessary for... Um, right, so we need stuff, essentially. We need stuff, otherwise we're going nowhere. Hmm. So, do I actually have maintenance panel B? Okay, so I've popped out some thingamabobs. That's nice. Now we've got a circuit boards, which we probably have got. It looks like we need three more fuses, then? We need to slot slot into there. Electra. Hmm, what could that possibly mean? Let's have a look. Maintenance panel A is missing a fuse. Circuits. <laughs> Confusing. Wire access. Um, possibly missing a wire there. Oh, good lord. This is, good. This is proper electronic stuff. Oh, I'm going to look stupid again. Uh, so we, we, we clearly need to actually sort out some of the solar panels as well. So we can see what things that things are wrong, but what do we actually do to solve it? Let's have a look. Power switch. Left to toggle. I've solved it! You literally just have to do that. Hooray! Actually, there the might just be more than that. Let's have a look. Feels like there should be some... Repair slot? Replace component? Install? Oh, I've installed it! I think... I think that might have already been in my inventory. Because otherwise I'll have just magic it out of thin air, I guess. So, maybe it's a case of um, reallocating, then. If... One of these um, other ones have got too many solar panels. Ah. Uh, and then I can bring some more over here, or vice versa. 
Right, I'm just having a bit more of a look at the, um, well, this one, this one's the water one. You can actually interact directly with these things over here. Um, this has got a bro this is actually a broken fuse. Let's see if we can actually repair that. Oh, it's gone. Can I install a new one? Oh, I've got six fuses from inside, haven't I? All right. So I now have... Okay, we need to install a new one. Replace components. Install. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Look! All nice fuses all sorted. Is something missing from here? Replace components. Universal O's! I'm glad I picked stuff up from inside now. What do I do at 0%? I've run inside because I fear what's about to happen. Um, we're at zero. Oxygen 63%. Fuck. Oh no! And there we have it. Our flashlight is um, now no longer a flashlight. Uh oh. I don't suppose I have a spare battery, do I? Uh, how do you actually recharge the damn thing then? Hope I haven't screwed things up now <laughs> by not doing it quickly enough. I don't think so. I wonder how we actually restore it then. Not like that. <laughs> I think that might be um, basically me dying. Ah. Okay, in this um, second game, um, I think I think the um, I think the way this works is uh, the, the the landscape is set, but the points of interest, like um, habitats and stuff, are actually different every time. So you can't just like you know, it's not the same game. This exact same game each time. Uh, okay, so this time we've actually got plenty of daylight, and I, I know vaguely what's going on. So I'm, I'm just going to like um, get things sorted. Now that's interesting. So apparently when I leave, leave the module, uh, my battery and oxygen do actually replenish back up to 100%. Which I'm pretty sure didn't actually happen last time. I certainly didn't see any notice. Huh. Alright, well, fine. This is, um, this is certainly a lot better news than, um, than last time. So that's good. Um, we can actually get on with trying to repair stuff in a more timely manner. If we can just work it out. Huh. Well, I think I did the electrics. Uh, I've got three solar panels. And I did all the, kind of, like, the repair slots and repair stuff over here. And put the power switch on. This time it seems to have worked. 130% power. It more than worked. I'm great, I am... And now I've got to do the other ones as well. Although I am starting to run out of things like fuses. This time, for some reason, I only got managed to find three fuses. Oh, I'm wondering if the um, the equipment you get inside there is actually randomised. 100% uh, power. Let's have a look at you. By the looks of it, just one fuse needed. Replace component. This is the last one. It's worrying. And we don't actually need anything else. Uh, let's have a look. Well, we're we going to need more solar panels or anything. I uh, still don't know what that is. I mean, it doesn't seem to really... Uh, nothing seems to really matter with that. Well, that's worked. I'm starting to think I didn't actually need to put that extra solar panel in there. Huh. Well, fine. For some reason, it's going a lot better this time. Although, what time is it? It's almost it's coming to 4pm. It's going to be hours before the zombies come out. <laughs> nah. Right, let's have a look at you. Each one is slightly different. 130% local power. Whew. Right, so we need a carbon filter. Oh, we need two more fuses by the looks of it. Ooh, that's a bit icky. We haven't got any more fuses. No. God damn it. What do we do about that? Also, okay. Hang on. Well, the, the pressure stuff looks okay. Circuit board seems fine. Huh. I wonder if the fuses are enough. Can't imagine they are. Apparently it is. Apparently three fuses are enough. I wonder why the first the first time around is yeah, I don't know. Um we'll try and get this sorted, and then maybe we'll actually have a working habitat. Let's have a look. There's one missing fuse. And that looks okay. Yeah, everything looks fine there, so let's just switch this on and hope for the best. Oh, well, it's yellow. Which doesn't look ideal, but apparently I have now made everything fully operational. 
mission objectives updated. By the looks of it, that's why you can't come out of the other door in the habitat, because otherwise you'll fall to your absolute death. All right. Uh, so now we've got to go elsewhere. Ooh, here we go. See? We've got more stuff to do. We've got to leave our place behind. We'll probably do that in the morning, though, because it looks like it's getting dark. Shame we haven't got a buggy. That'd be good. And... Ooh! It's a lot more bright and cheerful in here now. I've raided all that stuff. So let's have a very quick look at the... stations that we can actually use now. I think. Where are they? There's the crafting station. No crafting plans. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Alright, so I can salvage stuff by the looks of it. But let's probably not do that. Because we'll probably end up destroying something essential. Right, just see, see if we can actually go to sleep. Yes, I can, apparently. Um, no hours of daylight remaining. Sleep until... Well... Let's sleep until five o'clock. Ah. <sighs> well, presumably it is now the morning. Uh, let's have a look at our vitals. Probably need some thing to eat and drink at this point, so let's go back in here, actually. Uh, inventory. Let's see, what do we need? Almonds? Delicious almonds. Water. Uh, knowing these games, I'll need more than one. And with any luck, um, our vitals. Oh, we still need a bit of food. I think that um, a small nut snack was not enough. And funnily enough, so let's grab some more nuts. Yes. In fact, let's just go crazy. Yes. Double nuts. Uh, so that theoretically means... Let's go back in here again. Yep, we're all green. Right, so let's go and explore to find this one of these other habitats. Oh, that's the broke... That's the, that's the crap door. Oh, okay, we'll go in this direction. Oh, look at that. I pressed the scanner, and I've got blue squares now. Which, which is useful. All right, let's actually go uh, outside proper. Well, it looks like I was older, <laughs> oversold on the whole daylight issue. Although, I don't know, it's just, I think it's a, it's a nice little dawn here on Mars. Um, scanner poos. It did say something about um, two more purple s circles, but by the looks of it... I might need to actually go over there first. Let's have a quick look at our mission objectives. Uh, find and activate local waypoint station. So that's the red triangle that we're going towards. Bye-bye mystery items. Well, not that mysterious now. Now we've got the measure of them. So let's walk into this glorious Mars dawn. Uh, let's, let's some sidestep. <laughs> See what all, all this stuff looks like from a distance. Ooh. And now we're just moonwalking. Or Mars walking, anyway. Ooh, look at this! Sun rising between two mounds. I won't deign to call them mountains. Are we going in the right direction? Yes, we basically are. Okay, let's go. Let's head over here. Let's go round the rump. Okay, so the waypoint is over here. Hence why I'm blundering up a hill. Uh, I think we actually do need to go up. Up, up, up. I don't think you can run. Oh, you can run! Oh, God, God I've been walking around everywhere. Turns out you can run. Didn't even think to press shift. Like an idiot that I am. Oh, yeah, don't need to actually use those flashlights. Uh, carefully does it. We don't want to sprain our ankle. There's no doctors on Mars. Yeah, that looks like where we're going. Just confirm. Yes, indeed. The sun's rising quite fast. Already 8 a.m., Ah, uh, okay. Let's have a look at... Well, this is all very flat around here. I do miss the um, the sea creatures of Subnautica, <laughs> if we are going to compare games. Like a few fish. So I don't know if there's like... Um, if this is going to like uh, turn out to be like a deliberately like realistic sim about loneliness of, on Mars, or whether it's going to surprise me later on with them um, weird unexpected stuff. I don't know at the moment. It, it completely depends. And so there is going to be a story mode in this at some point. Uh, but I think there's some, the sandbox is just going to be used in early access as a test bed. A bit long darkish. Uh, well, we're still waiting for the bloody story mode on that. Although, August the 1st, apparently. A diagnostics console. Turn power on. 
Let's do that. Run diagnostics. Everything looks fairly groovy. So I don't need to worry too much. This has also got a little diagnostics panel. I say groovy, there's no fuses in here. No, I'm no, I've got bugger all. Remember that last game when I had six? God damn it, now I've only got What's that over there? Oh no, nothing at all. There's just a little floating pixel thing. Just there. For some reason. Huh. That's a little weather station. Apparently there's a bit of wind on Mars. It's it's in a that direction y sort of thing. So let's have a look at our Oh hello. There's quite a few things being added. There's like a white, two white squares, plus another habitat over there. Unless that was the original one. That might be where we came from. Brilliantly, I've now got turned round. So let's have a very quick explore before we, we're we done with this for the time being. It looks like there's something, if you can see where the blue thing is in the middle. It looks like there might be something flat there, but it might just be a rock. Uh, but let's let's know what we... Let's, let's go where we know is going to be something across this landscape towards the white diamondy thing. Uh, not really much else to look at at the moment. Let's just let's just um, push on. I'm getting closer and closer with pain, with painful slowness to get towards the um, whatever the hell this is. Um, it's not. I'm not sure if it's a habitat and because it's not a purple circle type thing, but remains to be seen. It's got to be summit. It doesn't look. Oh, it's loading. What on earth is it loading? Hmm. How mysterious. I said, looking around for any Martians. It suddenly turns into an um, EDL. But probably not. Remote outpost. Oh, was it a remote outpost? Added to navigation. Well. Fine. It looks like you. it only shows you the... Um, when the symbols, it only shows you things that are quite close by. Let's have a look at the map. Oh, ma apparently Mars is huge. So at least it shows you there. Okay. Unless that's my original pod. Oh no, it's not my original pod, is it? Okay, two things. One, look at the reflection on that. I've actually got proper reflection of what's um, over there, which is rather cool. But also, I'm just having a look in here again, in the storage. I forgot I actually had to press tab. It's full of stuff. Um, I think... This is the stuff that's in this drop pod. I wonder if it's like my old life, because this looks a lot like the stuff that I had before. Ah. So. Looks more almonds. More importantly, two fuses. Yeah, so maybe I should just like raid all this. Uh, this yeah, this definitely looks like the stuff I got in the first game. But not 100% sure about this. Maybe it is just a, a useful place. A useful thing to... Sp I don't know. Um... German sausage. Ooh. Okay, so we'll, we'll treat that as something that you just discover and you stock up on t to help you with your survival thing. I don't think it's anything to do with my previous life. I just went a bit crazy there. Um, but let's, um, well, I'll head back towards that waypoint while I consider my next move. Um, but we'll stop here because this, um, this is a, quite a, a, a very slow paced game and it could go on, this video could go on forever if you want to see the next thing. So yes, this is, so far, this does strike me as being something that, um, it's all about the atmosphere um, and slow-paced exploration. It's not for like a quick fix of running around the place and building and stuff like that. So I don't know, I'm not quite sure where this is actually going and where, how early it is in development even, to be honest. So I'll, I'll, keep my, I'll keep my eye on it, see what's going on and how other people react to it. It should be coming out on Steam at some point. <laughs> uh, so this is a preview version. Um, but yeah, keep a look out for it if you like this sort of thing. Yep, so thanks for watching. Um, do check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you just want to hang out and <laughs> be notified when uh, future videos go live. And I shall see you again very soon. And bye for now.